In this video, we will learn about the types of data captured by the satellite sensor. We will learn about raster data set or in simple terms image data. Now what is an image? Image is a grid of cells that are commonly called pixels. Let's learn by an example. We have a landscape here with different elements on ground. When a satellite captures this area, it divides the landscape into a grid and records the observation of each cell known as a pixel. Each pixel is represented by a digital number as shown here. These digital numbers are representative of the energy sensed by the sensor. In an image, we see these DN numbers portrayed as colors as shown here. We can see here that the number 5 is the representation of open ground in the image, 10 represents houses, 20 represents road, 30 represents trees, and 50 represents water body. Now we will see what kind of details we can get from our captured image. For that, we will learn about image resolution. The resolution of an image refers to the potential detail provided by the imagery. In remote sensing, we refer to four types of resolution, spatial, spectral, radiometric, and temporal. Let's get to know about each of them. Spatial resolution refers to the size of the smallest feature that can be detected by a satellite sensor or displayed in a satellite image. It is usually presented as a single value representing the length of one side of the pixel. For instance, a spatial resolution of 20 meter means that one pixel represents an area 20 by 20 meter on the ground. The higher is the spatial resolution, the more is the data loss from reality. Let us see this phenomena by means of an example. Consider this landscape of garden with a lake in between spread along a span of 80 by 80 meter area. If we capture an image with 5 meter resolution for this area, the captured image would look like this. You can observe that unlike the actual landscape with the smooth curves, the elements in this image have rough sides. Now let's increase the resolution by doubling up and observe how the increase in pixel size hampers the information retrieved. It can be noticed that at the lower pixel size, the shape of lake has started to distort, while at higher pixel size, the landscape completely lost its physical characteristic. With these examples, we can finally conclude that when spatial resolution is high or the pixel size is small, the data loss is least. While in case of lower spatial resolution, when the pixel size is large, there is a huge loss of data. That covers up spatial resolution. Now, let's move to the next type of image resolution that is spectral resolution. We have learned about the electromagnetic spectrum in the previous lectures. First, let's take a quick revision from there. We know that spectral relates to the electromagnetic spectrum which includes light that is both visible and invisible to human eyes. Now, this is the electromagnetic spectrum which is composed of thousands of wavelengths of energy. The imaging spectrometer divides the spectrum into groups of wavelength called bands. The range of electromagnetic spectrum covered by each band is what we call spectral resolution of an image. Lower spectral resolution means fewer bands each of which covers more of the spectrum. Whereas, higher spectral resolution means more bands that are spectrally more narrow. Now, according to the number of bands stored in an image, we classify it as panchromatic, multispectral and hyperspectral remote sensing. Panchromatic images 
are images which consist of a single band in multispectral multi meaning having many bands which is usually more than 3 and finally in hyperspectral hyper means up to hundreds of bands clicked at very high spectral resolution we use these multi and hyperspectral remote sensing data sets to measure light energy reflected from objects on the earth surface and to estimate many physical and chemical properties of object that we wouldn't see with our own eyes now let's move on to the next section which is radiometric resolution radiometric resolution is defined as the total number of gray shades in a band it accounts to the amount of information a single band can accommodate it is expressed in the units of bit number of gray shades that can be stored in an image can be obtained by calculating 2 to the power of bit the example portrayed here shows how radiometric resolution affects the imagery now let's move over to the next and final section that is temporal resolution temporal resolution is defined as the total time a satellite takes to revisit an area to take pictures this helps us to understand the landscape characteristic changes over the period of time for instance sentinel 2 provides data at a temporal resolution of 5 days while landsat 8 provides data at a temporal resolution of 16 days let us consider an example of a long period change detection over an area these images show how the landscape of the area has changed in the span of 20 years it can be observed how during the course of time the urban area has increased and so has the green cover this explains how temporal data could be useful for change detection that concludes how the image data is captured in raster data format and how the four different image resolutions are important to know before selecting any data for analysis thank you